Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, I will show you two different ways to create text behind an object. The first method we will explore is using the Roto Brush tool, and the second method involves masking. First, let's talk about the Roto Brush tool. This tool is perfect for situations where you have a moving object in your video that you want to place text behind. The Roto Brush tool allows you to easily separate the object from the background, making it easier to add text behind it. Now, let's move on to the second method, masking. Masking is a more traditional way of creating text behind an object, and it gives you more control over the final result. Both the Roto Brush tool and masking technique have their own advantages and can be used in different scenarios. It's always good to have multiple methods in your arsenal, as it allows you to choose the one that best suits your needs. So, let's dive right in and get started without wasting any more time. Here you can create new composition, or you can just drag and drop it into our timeline. You can see here the movement of this video, this is not in a stable. In such cases you have to use the roto brush to mask this. You cannot mask it single by single frame. So roto brush helps it capture its movement and mask it. So let's mask it using roto brush. First duplicate this layer by holding control press the D key. Then double click on this video layer and you can see here this open in another layer. Click on this icon to select Roto Brush Tool or by holding the Alt plus W key. Let's draw it from top to bottom to select our subject. As you can see here it has selected our subject, but somewhere it is not selected. For that we have to draw like this to select the specific part. To move upward and downwards you can use Hand Tool by hiding each key on your keyboard. Let's zoom it by scrolling with the help of mouse and then select the part which you want to select. In case. If you want to remove the unwanted selected part, hold the ALT key. Then click the left button in mouse you can unselect it. You can see here red mark appears while removing. And green while selecting the part. Hope you understood that. Okay, I am speeding up this part 1 don't want your time to waste. But making sure to brush it properly. Take your own time. Okay now I have done with this part. Now select this icon or hit V and hit the spacebar for render once the render done. Let's check it if we see any problems we'll fix it. You can see there it is not selected some parts so let's fix it as I told earlier. Again I will speed up this part to fix it.
Okay, this part is done now. Then this freeze icon. You can see here completely our subject has been cropped. You can see here foot is cut but no need to worry you can see here it matches with the original video so no need to worry. You no need to brush hold the subject just select the subject where the text placement appears if you brush that. Specific part it's good here I am brushing whole subject because I don't like such kind of stuff but that is a smart work. Finally for this we'll add the text. For this click on this text icon then enter the text. Using a line tool recenter it properly. I need character tool here. For which you should to go window, and here select the character tool. Move it upward. If you want to increase its scale size you can do it in character tool, and other properties are there you can use it as per your need. Now let's drop it in between the, the video layers. Now it's perfect. You can see there is no any distractions. Select all this layer and pre-compose it. If you need or else you can leave it. Now let's jump to another one. For this we will go with the mask. Drag and drop it to our timeline. Let's resize its scale. Then duplicate it by holding Ctrl and D key. Place the text now and fix it where you need to appear the text. I will place it in center. For this text we'll change the text color. Here you can see the stroke text. Let's off it by unchecking on this stroke. As well for this also. I will remove the stroke. Here I will select the red color. Now we have to mask for this ballon layer. No need to mask for whole subject. Just max the part where the text appears. Mask it where it need, and by holding alt you can do this like this.
select the layer and hit the M for mask and give the keyframe here no matter where it is now in. Next step we have to change its position. I want only mask to change its position. Let's undo and select this mask and just place it at the end of the frame. Let's cover all the subject so that our text appears at behind of the subject. Drag it in between of these two layers now can see here our text is banged our subject. Here our mask is not fixed properly let's fix it up to last frame. As we did it for roto brush here you have to do for this mask that's it. As now first fix it left side then later we'll fix it right side part. Again I am speeding up this part 1 not want this video to make lengthy. Okay left part is done now let's start right side part. Okay, it's done. Let's fix it up. Okay, finally done with this mask. Now let's check this.
Okay cool, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that it has given you some insight into creating text behind objects. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Until next time, happy editing!